Emotional testimony today in the trial of Stephen Brown, who's accused of killing a North Shore woman five years ago and kidnapping her eight-year-old daughter. A Honolulu police officer broke down in tears as he described the scene. Manola Morales reports. HPD officer Aaron Eveland was one of the first to respond to the North Shore home where Thelma Boyneville's body was found. He first broke down when asked about seeing Boyneville's body on the floor. He then told jurors that he went to the upstairs bedroom and found Boyneville's daughter tied to the frame of the bed and her mouth taped shut. Tell the jury how he was tied. He said the girl told him, they killed my mom, I miss her already. He said he also had a difficult time bringing the girl out of the house because he didn't want her to see her mom's body. Brown is accused of murder, kidnapping, and burglary along with his then-girlfriend Haley Danderan. She is scheduled for a separate trial on the same charges. Deputy Prosecutor Scott Bell called several HPD officers to testify on Tuesday. They told the jury that when Brown was arrested at the Mililani Town Center a few hours later, he was aggressive and repeatedly told the officers to shoot him. Told me his name and he told me uh, to shoot him. You see this one time or more than one time? Uh, several times. He didn't want to get into the car. It's kind of yelling and screaming. Um, like I said, he continued to say, you should have shot me, you should have killed me. Defense attorney William Bagasol had told jurors that Brown admitted to the kidnapping and burglary, but it was Dan Duran who killed Boyneville. Bagasol adds that when officers arrested Brown, he was in a drunken stupor, but he was not confessing to murder. Trial resumes on Thursday. Manola Morales-Gage, 2 News, working for Hawaii.